It is time for Seattle Sips, where we highlight some amazing drinks in our area. And today we're joined by Marshall Petrini with Greenwood Cider. Thanks for coming, yeah, Marshall. Thanks for yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, you were founded in 2014, located in Inner Bay. So tell us about how many different cider flavors you offer. Uh, we have several cider flavors. Uh, probably about a dozen in bottles right wow. now. Uh, and then we do a lot of different things on draft. So um, brought three today that kind of exemplify a little bit of the variety that we do in awesome. bottles. And That's exciting. You guys, uh, you have a pretty unique way of, of how you make the cider. Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. We press and produce everything in Seattle, so we're, we're one of the few people that are actually pressing our own juice, uh, especially in this region. Um, and then we have an unfiltered system, so everything takes a little bit longer. It's almost a little more on the wine side, but oh. we think it develops a nice, more unique flavor to it. Uh, cool. All right. Well, well let's try some. Sure. What do you got going on? Um, I brought the fire roasted pepper. Oh, <laughs> hello. Yes. I'm excited about this uh, one. The Seattle Scrumpy, which is a city fruit collaboration. Scrumpy. I love that. That's all stuff picked from around <laughs> town. And then our huckleberry, which is always our most popular. So. Oh, fun. Uh, all right. We could start with the Scrumpy if that's yes, all right with absolutely. you. Yes, absolutely. So this is a partnership we've done for, this is our second year with City Fruit. They're a nonprofit here in Seattle. They gather up stuff from local parks, backyards, just kind of wherever. They've got really? a whole team of volunteers. Yeah. Um, us and Seattle Cider are doing something for them. So a dollar from every bottle goes to them, kind of helps support their mission. Yeah. And does it matter the kind of apple? That, that you, are you guys looking for specific kinds of apples? We are, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but we kind of take whatever we can get, especially this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Ooh, very yeah. fresh. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. So because it's like just stuff from around town, the whole mission here is to make use of that stuff and not sure. let it go to waste. Because otherwise mm -hmm. it's just going to rot out there, exactly. right? Exactly, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of how we got started is foraging stuff around town, foraging stuff out in the wilderness. and just kind of making use of the bounty that's around us. Yeah, and I mean, and then I'm sure that there's stuff that, uh, you know, maybe doesn't look pretty or whatever, yeah. but it doesn't matter if it looks pretty, true. right? True, true. Yeah, and with a lot of cider things, even if it doesn't taste good, it's probably going to make a pretty decent cider, so. So can you control the flavor uh, with Scrumpy since uh, you're foraging, or, or is it kind of vary? It varies. This one's a little more uh, robust than last year's. Last year's a little more... Easy drinking, I suppose. This mm -hmm. one's got a little more oomph to it. Nice. Um, but yeah, uh, this this one not so much because it's like just whatever we can get, whatever right. they're handing us, whatever we're nice. picking, whatever they're picking. Uh, and then you know, there's a little bit of an art form down the road, like how to how to blend it all together and make it make it work. So beautiful. Cool. What let's are you try. Trying? Let's try the let's do the pepper one at the end. Yes. yes. I want to say that one. That one. That just one's gonna case, knock. We all pass that's out. gonna knock our socks off. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like wanting to try it first. Well, you guys yeah. have been like stopping well, it's, me. It's strategic. It's strategic. <laughs> I don't blame you. Now this is your most popular. This is our most popular. This is our huckleberry cider. Mm -hmm. So like I was saying, we we try to go out and forage as many of these things as possible. Uh -huh. And that's kind of how we got started was with the huckleberry, going out into the woods and picking as much huckleberry as we can. And um, yeah. Oh yeah, that's we really great. We still try to do that to this day. So yeah, that's really great. I didn't realize, uh, wow. I saw you smelling it first, and I, it's like a wine almost. Like I, you know, I didn't realize you are supposed to You can do, do whatever you want. You can oh, do. you are? No, you can do whatever you want. So. <laughs> oh. Like with beer, I don't Sorry, know. just, <laughs> yeah. Mm, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Mm. Well, what other flavors do you have on top of uh, top of the three that we're trying to um, So we have a traditional, or a, a standard dry cider, one of the driest ciders in town. Oh, I love a dry We do cider. a dry yeah. hop cider. Um, we also do a lingonberry cider, which mm -hmm. is kind of our winter seasonal. That one, I think we're the only people doing a winter, or mm -hmm. uh, only doing a lingonberry cider. Uh, summertime, we have a very popular blush cider, just strawberries, nice. raspberries, blackberries, and Ooh. blueberries. That sounds so nice. That one's coming out. In that's a in the weeks. summer. Yep. That's that's like lawn mowing cider. Yeah. 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 That's refreshing. Exactly. <laughs> All, All right. right. All right. Let's do it. You guys ready? Fire, Fire roasted, roasted pepper. pepper. So yes. I, will, I will say a couple things about this one. It's gonna smell spicier than it's gonna taste. Okay. 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 But it's going to taste a little spicy. She can handle it. I'm the, I'm the one that's... I'm just uh, excited about it. I'm so excited. I like throw jalapenos oh, into wow. all my cocktails, so... That does smell spicy, Ooh, doesn't it? it does. Yeah. yeah. I want to so eat pepper? this with like is a brisket. It? This is a uh, poblanos, hatch mm -hmm. chilies, jalapenos, and a few serranos. Mm. 
Wow. Yeah. I'm telling you, a brisket sandwich? Oh, yeah. yeah. This one's great with food. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's Actually, very nice. that's really good. It's not that spicy. No, no. It's, it's not, but it's the flavors. It's, it smells. And yeah, just a little bit of burn on the mm. back end. So. Oh, I love this. So where can people find your ciders? Uh, we are at the farmer's markets. We do eight farmer's markets. Ballard, Lake Forest Park, Edmonds, uh, Magnolia, all over to Capitol Hill. Uh, we're also at PCC Community Markets. Who we just had here, so. Yep, Lovely. yep, yep, yeah. perfect. <laughs> Town and Country Markets, Total Wine, and then pretty much every bottle shop in the area, so. I got to tell you, out of the three of them, I, I, I think this one might be my favorite. I love really? this one. Oh. It's really interesting. Yeah, I've, never, I've never had anything like it's this unique, before. It's unique, for so, sure, yeah. Really cool. Mm -hmm. thank, Marshall, thank you so much. We posted a link with more info at Greenwood Cider on our website. That's fox13seattle.com slash studio 13 live thank you so much yeah. for bringing this out great stuff thanks for so having good. me guys cheers really amazing all right still ahead on studio 13